I'm here with Alan Mills, an American outcast. We're here to talk about how communication uh, works through fashion. Let's get right to it. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Alan, you feel fashion makes a statement. Is that correct? I do feel that it does make a statement. Do colors and fashion communicate? You wearing what you're wearing today, what does that communicate? They actually do communicate depending on what you're wearing. I mean, it gives you, it'll make you feel free depending on what you wear. You can express your, your free thinking, your free will, the way you want to live day to day, everything like that. You know, definitely express these things through the clothing and attire that you put together. Um, it's supposed to represent your mind frame, your thought, your freedom of expression. You tell me uh, what I might choose to wear as a ride chair driver, for example, to help improve my star rating or perhaps even improve my tips? Um, I mean, I would recommend probably a nice collared button-down shirt with a, you know, nice jean jacket or a blazer of some sort. Something comfortable, something semi-casual, something to that nature. If I want to land a job, is there something I can wear that says I'm the best fit for the job? Um, I would say so. I would say, you know, you have to dress like you're confident, like you have to walk in your own truth. So if you come, you have to capture everybody's attention when you walk in the door with what you have on, your body language, your appearance. It goes a long way, so it can significantly change the dynamic of everything, anything. Very good. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your schedule today. And oh, absolutely. It was a pleasure talking with you. With the spoken word.